Well, what a wonderful week too, newfound dress rehearsal game by the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins stomped the Atlanta Falcons to the tune of 37-17 and there were five players, to me that aren't named Tua Tungavailoa, that stood out and I would like to talk about them if that can be agreeable with everyone. Sam Egavoen did a lot to help his case for a roster spot. I don't think the other Canadian crippler, Sam Egavoen, was on the bubble of not making the team because I think you need solid backups like Sam is. But if there was a possibility of Egavoen not making the team, his four sacks, including a safety performance, has to certainly guarantee to solidify him a roster spot for the year. And that's a good thing because he's a quality backup. Yes, even though he had four sacks in a preseason game I don't think this is going to thrust him into a starting spot. That's not a bad thing for this team because every team needs quality number twos. And how this offseason is going in terms of nagging injuries, having a guy like Sam who is showing ruthless aggression, is a positive thing. And who knows, maybe Sam has to actually play extended time due to an injury. Very possible that can happen. It's good to know that the Dolphins employ a guy like Sam who's been around for a few years, knows his role, is still hungry to improve, and can step in and there won't be a major drop-off. Also, I wouldn't hate if the other Canadian crippler started using a flying headbutt by jumping off Wilkins's shoulders to bring ball carriers down. Illegal? Maybe. Effective? Absolutely. Miles Gaskin. Gaskin had 71 total yards and added two TDs to his stat line. Basically, Gaskin had his way with the Falcons. He looked fast, he looked tough on that one catch on a third down where he should have just gone out of bounds and powered his way to a first down. Essentially, Gaskin looked like a player that knows he's better than everyone else. Obviously, he's not like Prime Marshall Falk or Ladanian Tomlinson or anything like that but you can't help but notice how much Gaskin is carrying himself as full-blown number one running back. The Dolphins are going to need performances like this and more when the season starts out of Gaskin. I feel that the running game is going to hit or miss in how much it actually produces. Knowing that Gaskin has the ability to not just catch the ball but to catch the ball and matriculate the ball downfield is such a plus for Tua in this offense. Catching the check down from Tua, something that gives me all the feels, is going to be so important going forward. That's the kind of play that separates good QBs, offenses from average ones. Liam Eichenberg. Sadly, I don't have a cool clip of Liam Eichenberg flexing on the Falcons but that's what happens when you're an offensive lineman. Liam is used to it. Liam got inserted into the lineup around the mid-second quarter at right tackle for Jesse Davis and let's just say that he may have taken the starting right tackle job by the horns a la White Goodman. He stepped well, sealed terrifically, and drove suckers off the ball like it was his job, which it is. I imagine most of us have thought that the Dolphins have sort of swung and missed on Eichenberg based on how they were shuffling him all over the offensive line. But, based on how he performed against the Falcons at right tackle, I don't know how you don't put him at right tackle going forward. No need to overthink this. Plus, having Eichenberg as a starter means that he will be the first Miami Dolphin to start a game named Liam. Could be wrong about that but I don't think I am. Let me know either way. The whole offensive line. I know I know, how can the whole entire offensive line be one of CERN's five dudes not named Tua who had an excellent game blog? It was able to happen because I am in fact the one writing the blog. If that upsets you in any way, well I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm sure you feel better now. If you don't think the entire offensive line deserves props for playing well please reach out to Austin Jackson, Solomon Kindley, Michael Dieter, Big Bob Hunt, Jesse Davis, Liam Eichenberg, and the rest of the guys that got in the trench and let them know you didn't like how they played. It can't be stated enough how well the O-line played against Atlanta. Did they maul them into a fine pulp? No. But did they do what they had to do to them whenever they wanted to? Yes. Yes, they did. They drove the defensive line back, pulled well, stepped well, and got on their barstool, and allowed Tua to navigate the pocket and throw dart after dart. That's what was amazing to watch. The offensive line let Tua be a real maestro back there, step up, and hit crescendo after crescendo. Like I mentioned earlier, I think Liam Eichenberg showed that he should be the starting right tackle over Jesse Davis who only had a so-so day. Davis will have a role on this team and that will probably be somewhere else on the offensive line. 